When Sendan heard the sound of moaning coming from under Amuthan's bed, all Workadian said, Aha! Is that Samasara? O Shiva Bhakta Shikamanis! Have you started doing bad things like old Parama Shiva? Saying that, he started going up. Bungazali suddenly pointed out the knife inserted between her and said, Vaishnava! You who insult Lord Shiva will not stay in this world for a moment more. If you take one step higher, you will immediately join Vacant Dam. She said. Mother. Mahashakti. Is there any other word for your word? It is not easy to get the rank of Vacant Da. If you send me there by your hand, what greater blessing can I get than that? All Workadians said. At this time, Sendan Amuthan got up from the bed and said, Pungajali. Don't. Put the knife in your waist. This Vaishnava blasphemes Lord Shiva. Nothing will come to Lord Shiva. No good can come from evil means. No good can come from falsehood and malice. Let's tell this Vaishnava the truth and ask him for help. He is also a friend of Vandiyadeva. He said. Come on. Come on. Can the detestable devotees of Shiva deceive the servant of Krishna Paramatma, the master of hypocritical drama? If Karunamurthy Sriman Narayan is reached to surrender, he will certainly save and bless him. It is not the Lord who saved Gayendra from the mouth of the crocodile who cried out that he is the original source. Yes, yes. Your friend will be gone from this earth before your Thirumal arrives from Vakanda. Pungazali said and rushed towards the bed. Others followed her. They lifted Vandiyadeva, who was hidden by a pile of clothes under the bed, and laid him on top of the bed. Vandiyathevan was unconscious. However, every now and then he moaned in pain. That is why it was possible to know that there was life in his body. Vana boiled measles herbs and added turmeric powder and brought them to be applied to the wound. All Workadian and Santhan Amuthan held Vandiyathevan's hands and feet tightly. Pungazali and Vani Mai put boiled herbs on his wound and bandaged it. Vandiyadeva woke up due to the pain. When he saw all Alwarkadian in front of him, he said, Vaishnava! You have done such a trick. Have you sent me here to kill me? After muttering, he lost consciousness again. Alwarkadian's face showed a sign of embarrassment. Santhana Muth and Pungazali looked at their faces thinking that Vandiyathevan's words in his half-remembered state might have made them doubt him again. The smile on Pungawali's face gave him some courage. Vaishnava! Did you send Vandiyathevar here? She asked. Yes, mother. But I sent no one to kill him. So be it, why did you send him here? I sent him to run away. I had two horses ready for him and his friend near this Nandavana. Then how did you know he didn't run away? How did you know he was in this hut? I saw someone else get on the horse I had left for him. That's why I got suspicious. When Thirumal thought one thing, Shiva thought another. What riddle is this, mother? How did he get hurt? Oh Vaishnava! I don't know with what purpose you sent her here. But she came here at the right time and saved me from becoming a concubine before I got married. While Pungazali was saying this, all were Kadian and Santhan Amuthan said, What? 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 They asked in wonder. Punguzali turned to Amuthan and said, Yes, I didn't even tell you. Someone stood outside and was about to stab them with a spear. Then he came and intervened and saved them by accepting the spear. She said. Sendan Amuthan's eyes watered. Alas! For my sake did my friend suffer this danger. He said. So what? You're risking so much to save him. Said Punghuali. Mother! It is very rare in this world that someone immediately responds to a helping hand. It is a great thing to not harm those who have done good. It is a wonderful thing that Vandiyathevan came here at the right time and saved Sendan Amuthan. But did you say something about marriage? What is it? You also said that you saved him from becoming a concubine. Yes, Vaishnava. Just a little while ago, he and I decided to get married. 
we also received the blessing of the champion Mathavi. The big brat was about to turn and spear him in the leg. Not even I could have prevented it. If his life was in danger, what is my fate? Kalyanam don't you become a handmaid before becoming one. With the grace of Karunamurthy Tirumal, nothing like that will happen. The blessings of champion Mathavi will not go in vain. You will have married this good man and lived happily for a long time. But who could be the villain who tried to kill this supremely gentle child with a spear? Have you seen him? Do you know any sign? What if you don't see? What if you don't know? That doctor's son is a sand alan named Pinyagapani. He is the one who captured my aunt Mandakini from Kadakare and sacrificed her to the murderer. In the Chola kingdom, all such crimes are happening. What wickedness have you seen? A thousand times more than this is going to happen. Anarchy is going to start tonight in the Chola country. There is going to be a big fight between the petty kings. People all over the country are going to fight and die with each other. Unless a great miracle happens by the grace of Sriman Narayana Murthy, the calamities that are coming to this country cannot be prevented. All Workadians said. Vaishnava. What is this that you speak like cursing? Shouldn't you bless the Chola country with prosperity? Said Amuthan. Let the country go anyway. We are going to the Crores. Said Punghuali. Let's go. What to do with this best friend who saved my life? Synthan Amuthan asked. You can't save him anyway. It's no use if you stay here. The servants are already looking for those who have escaped from the prison. They will be here soon. I don't know what to say to the guards standing at the door to convince them. All Workadians said. Sir. Vaishnava. You are so good. You are the one who can give advice to the Prime Minister Anuradha. If you can give an idea to save this warrior of the monkey clan who has been badly injured by the murderer, you are blessed. We both will be forever indebted to you. Goddess it's not that easy. Sir. You are gaining respect for me by the minute. Until yesterday you called me Otakari. Just before you called me Amini. Now you call me Devi. It seems you will call me princess in a little while. Yes, princess. There is only one way to save this heroic youth who lies here without memory. This blessed man who is going to marry them must be a prince one day. If he is a prince, then are you also a princess? Vaishnava. What is this mockery? I mean to be a prince one day? Why? Amuthan asked. Now I'm going to tell you both a secret that only one of me knows. Listen. No, watch this first. After saying that all were Kadian opened the bundle he had brought with him and showed it to them. Madhurand Hagar's crown, pearl garlands and Vakuvalias shone brightly. Aha! Aren't these what Prince Madhurand Hagar wore? We saw them here a while ago. Said Amuthan. Where did you get these? said Punghuali. They were found from the edge of the fence of this Nandavana. Also, listen to the secret I have come to tell you. As I was coming along the northern bank, I saw two men on two horses speeding away. They were the horses I had left here for Vandiyadeva and for the madman who had escaped from prison with him. Do you even know that madman? Yes, I know. He was raving about the Pandian crown and jewels to anyone he saw. That's him. That madman was on one of the horses that sped along the northern bank. The other horseman looked like Prince Madhurand Hagar. After coming here, that was certain. What is this strange thing? Why should Madhurand Hagar take off his ornaments and run away? I don't know that either. I'm going to tell the Prime Minister and send men to pursue the runaways. But I'm afraid big disasters will happen here before then. What disaster will happen? Here are the Palyavatarais and their party princes approaching the gate of Tanjore Fort. Kajum Valarvelar, Chief Minister and Malay Aman are waiting at the fort gate to welcome them. It is the Emperor's wish to decide the right to kingdom by peace, order. But before the Palyavatarais start peace talks, where is Madurand Hagar? They will ask. When they see him, 
Kajumbalar will attack Velar. They will say that it was the army chief who killed Madhurand Hagar to ensure the title of Pani's Selvar. Even if Pariya Velar denies it, he cannot prove it. A terrible civil war will immediately break out. The Chola country will soon be in disarray. We'll be out of here before then. Goddess! That's impossible. Pinna, what do you mean? Let Jindan Amuthan wear this crown and ornaments for a while. I will bring the elephant that has been brought by Pani Selvara and let him mount it. Let my men say long live Madhurand Hagar. I chanted and told the elephant to go before and behind. The palak from which Madhurandakar had climbed is near. Let's place Vandiyadeva in it and leave the screen. Devi! Come and walk beside the palak. Leave the rest to me. All Workadians said. What crazy idea is this? Sentine Muthan said. Will he be unrecognizable if he wears the crown? Said Punghuali. Who can identify the one sitting on the elephant at night? They are going to look closely if they are suspicious. I am coming with you. It is my responsibility to take all of you safely inside the fort to the chief minister's house. There is no other way to save this warrior of the monkey clan. After some more discussion, Synthanae Muthan and Pungazali agreed to all Workadian's idea.